Today in Photoshop, we are going to be learning how to change the color of someone's hair. Whether your hair is graying and you want to feel youthful, or you are youthful and want to be expressive and crazy, Photoshop can help you make all of those poor or exciting color decisions in a digital environment first. The first step in changing the hair color is to make a selection of the hair. As with everything in Photoshop, there are a million ways to make the selection. For hair, I recommend grabbing the quick selection tool and then dragging over the hair. This doesn't need to be perfect because when you are done, go up to the top of the screen and select Refine Edge in the options. I would first recommend turning on the Smart Radius checkbox and then turning the radius up quite a bit. Next, start painting over the edges of the hair with your Refine Radius tool. Hold Alt to remove areas from being removed and use the left and right square brackets to change the size of the tool. This tool will help you pull the hair from the background. Now keep going over it as Photoshop is sometimes stubborn in determining that you want the tiny hairs. Patience is key at this part as it will take some time. Feel free to adjust the smooth feather and contrast sliders depending on your image. Now before you criticize me, yes, the selection is easier to make on a white background, but the Refine Edge tool also works with patience on other backgrounds. You can see that it also pulls the hair from the areas that overlap her body and not just the background. Don't be afraid to mix in a few other methods of selection and use layer mask to help better your results. Refine Edge doesn't always get you 100% of the way there. When you have the hair selected to your liking, click OK. Next, duplicate your layer and create a layer mask from your selection by clicking the button on the bottom of the layers panel. Now this layer only contains the hair. Next, create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and then hold Alt to clip it to the hair layer. Turn on the colorize checkbox and then slide the hue and saturation bars to get the desired color. Subtle changes in colors will be more efficient, but drastic changes can take place. Feel free to paint black and white on your layer mask to tweak specific areas. So there you have it, your hair color has now been changed quickly and painlessly. So how does it look? Just make sure and ask for a second opinion before taking the plunge in real life. So as always, if you like this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.